In this video, we're going to talk about setting up a second node or database. As you can see here, we've already started with a master node and we set up the server client profile, so we have a server node already. Let's go ahead and log into our console. And it, Symmetric DS detects that you haven't installed a second node yet, so you'll be prompted with this wizard. There's two options for installing your additional nodes. The first option is a remote node, which will actually be installed on a separate installation of Symmetric DS. This might be useful in installations where the uh, network connection is over a wide area network. Your databases are far apart, in which case you'll see a better performance installing Symmetric closer to those databases, so you would have one installation of Symmetric at the source and one installation of Symmetric at the target. So that would be the remote node installation. Uh, for this demo purposes, though, we're going to do a local node. So in this case, we're going to have another instance of Symmetric installed on the same installation here. So let's go ahead and select local node to get started. Now, if you set up your master node already, it's going to look very similar. We're going to go through that same database screen. And again, I've got another Postgres database, so I'm going to select Postgres here. And let me fill in my database information. And again, we can test that connection out. Okay, we've got a successful connection. Let's continue by hitting the next button. Again, it's going to look familiar here with the same permission check screens we saw on the uh, master node setup. So we'll go ahead and hit next. This screen is a little different. We'll see a drop down list of the available nodes that we can select from. This is a good sign because it actually connected to our master node to get this group of nodes. So in this case, we're going to select the client node group. Hit next. And here's an external ID field. This is, uh, think of this as like a unique identifier to identify this particular node. So if you had a, several client nodes, you might want to have some kind of numbering system for them. Some of retailers will use like the store number, for example. In this demo, I'm just going to give it a number one. Hit next. And again here we've got our sync URL, and this is this, the URL that this node will communicate over for all of its replication. And hit next. And again, we're not going to set up any nodes in cluster mode for this demo, so we're going to go ahead and proceed through this screen. And that's it. We're ready to go, so we can install this node, and let's go ahead and finish. Okay, it installed our node, and it, one thing um, we might want to check first to make sure that we're good to go here is checking the registration of the node. Now it's prompting us for an initial load, but we're going to go ahead and cancel that and save that for another video. So we can go over here to this Manage Nodes, and we'll see our list of nodes in this Client node, External ID 1, and it's registered. So we are successfully set up with two nodes for replication. And that's all.